Medjugorje visionary Vika is known and loved throughout the world for her boundless energy and her never-ending smiles. She brings joy to all who encounter her. What is less well known is that Vika has had many serious health issues, over the years, and has endured great physical sufferings. But through all the pain Vika continues to always greet pilgrims with a smile that seems to come from heaven. Because of Vika's unique past, we should listen very carefully to the visionary's powerful words on prayer and suffering. Vika. Many times, when we have a cross, a difficulty, we could offer him, we instead pray this way. Lord, please remove that cross from my shoulders, it's heavy, I can't take it. Why is this cross given to me and not to someone else? No. This is not the right way to pray. Our Lady says we should rather tell him, Lord, I thank you for this cross, I thank you for this great gift you are giving me. Very few are the people who understand the great value of the cross and the great value of the gift of our crosses when they are offered to Jesus. We can learn so much through this gift of a cross. At this time, we must understand from the heart how much Jesus loves us all and we should walk by his side with great love. We should try to be united with him in his passion. This is the sacrifice that is expected from us. Let's walk this way, and then when the day of Easter comes with the resurrection, we won't look at the resurrection from outside but we will also be resurrected with Jesus, because we will have become free inside of us, free from ourselves and all our attachments. Isn't this a beautiful thing? We will be able to live his love and his resurrection inside of us. Every single cross has a reason. God never sends any cross without a motive, a meaning, and he knows when he will remove that cross from us. At times of suffering, let's thank Jesus for this gift and also tell him, if you have another gift for me, I am ready. But right now I am begging for your strength, in order to have the courage to carry my cross and go forward with you Lord. I remember how the Blessed Mother spoke to me about suffering when she said, if you knew the great value of suffering. This is really a very great thing. And then it all depends on us, afterwards, to be ready for this or not. It all depends on our yes to Jesus. It takes our whole life to learn this and go forward. Each morning, when we wake up, we can start our day with God. Our Lady does not ask us to pray the whole day long but to put prayer at the first place, to put God at the first place and then perform our works and go ahead in all the aspects of our life including visiting sick people and other good works. When we do a charitable work without prayer, it's not valuable. The same way, when we pray and do not act in a charitable way, it is not valuable either. Those two things, prayer and charity, work always together. And then, step by step, we go forward. God bless you and go in peace. Knowing how much Vika has suffered, and how beautifully she ministers to the pilgrims who visit her in Medjugorje, her words take on special meaning. Vika lives the way of the cross with Jesus every day and she knows the joy it brings. What good advice she has given us. Her words reflect Saint Faustina's, oh, if only the suffering soul knew how much God loves it, it would die of joy and excess of happiness. Someday we will know the value of suffering, but then we will no longer be able to suffer. The present moment is ours. God bless and thank you for watching.